I believe beauty is what comes from the inside, not from the outside. It's what many people don't see. It's not based on your weight, based on how you look, based on your hair, anything. It's just who you are as a person. It's waking up in the morning and seeing all your so-called flaws, but not necessarily considering them flaws anymore. There are times in life where you reach a low point, you'll have high points, and just being able to smile and enjoy the high points, that's really a beautiful feeling. En mis propias palabras, belleza es primeramente estar en la presencia de Dios y le doy gracias por la diversidad, las culturas, la naturaleza, las creaciones. When I think of beauty, um, the first thing that comes to mind is, is my three daughters, um, watching them grow, uh, watching the way that um, I influence their life. Beauty to me uh, is watching my mom take care of my grandmother for an entire summer. Last summer, I was fortunate enough to be able to go to New York with my family um, while my grandma was sick, and uh, just seeing my family rally around my grandmother it was pretty heartwarming. It was touching to see like the love that they all displayed for each other in the time of despair they were all in. I think a lot about that because I teach um, gender studies in a culture which is dominated by media that um, I think presents false images of beauty for both men and women. It kind of feels like work. It feels like a lot, a lot of work because of the fact that society tells us that we have to be photoshopped beauty and then we also have to look a certain way, be a certain way. You have to have harsh lines, lots of structure and all this other stuff. But I guess beauty to me is what you think it is, what you, what you perceive to yourself as beauty. And I consider myself beautiful. The family we grew up in, uh, it's a tight community that we always find a way to help each other and it reminds me of what the church should be. Seeing people thrive, seeing people doing what God called them to do.